Hi Virgo, welcome to your June 15th through the 31st tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I'll be doing your reading today. I just wanted to let you know before we get started, I do have a website in the description box below and I do offer personal readings. Um, I have two features on that website. I have Shop Now and Book Now. The Shop Now feature has um, different packages that you can buy where I record a reading and I put it on YouTube unlisted so you can only view it if you have the direct link and then I send you the direct link within 48 hours of you making a purchase um, and if it takes more time I will like write you and let you know um, but right now it's 48 hours and I also have a book now feature where we do a live Skype call and you click on it and we you choose a time that you want to do a live Skype call with me and then we can talk one on one which is really cool so I just want to let you know about those so let's get started with your reading um, so this is the energy oracle what is the central theme of Virgo's reading today all right so I have the angel of balance so it looks like everything is in balance everything is just and fair and um and balanced right now so that's good and then i have the healer of the ages so it looks like you've been healing you've been healing yourself and you've been healing yourself and getting out of being broken hearted so there was a heartbreak here but you're coming out of heartbreak You've been healing yourself and you're getting back into balance which is really good to hear so that means that you're on the right path so I'm going to be doing a spread it's like a Romney gypsy spread um, but it's a little bit different and I have two decks put together here um, so each card has two variations of itself and I do read reversals so for every card there's four well actually yeah four different outcomes that could happen um, so let's get started. I need three cards for Virgo's current state of mind. Three cards for Virgo's current state of mind, please. That's one, three. Three cards for Virgo's. Okay, so the first thing we have is the King of Wands in the reverse. So the King of Wands in the reverse is very weak, uh, ineffective, a poor role model, immature, risky he bre he breaks promises he's a poor businessman um, he's a one-hit wonder or a, there could be a loss of an empire here so a loss of something that you had built what else is going on in Virgo's mind what else is going on in Virgo's mind what else is going on in Virgo's mind two cards for what's going on in Virgo's mind Okay, so I have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Um, so there's being on edge, being defensive, being paranoid here, feeling under attack. So we have fire energy here with the King of Wands and fire energy with the Nine of Wands. Both are Sagittarius energy. Um, so this is I aim energy. This is... Um, in the reverse, so the, that would be talking about Sagittarius' negative qualities. Um, so some of Sagittarius' negative qualities is being blunt, being outspoken, saying whatever and not worrying about what other people feel. Like you just say whatever's true, you're, you're tactless whenever you have negative Sagittarius energy. You're very quick tempered. Uh, there's an explosive temper here kind of like a volcano it's very calm then all of a sudden it explodes and it kills everybody in the village and the whole the survivors are like what just happened they're all traumatized and you're like yeah what happened you know that's just my nature um so this is what's on your mind it could be either be you or somebody that you know who's very tactless has an explosive temper um who's very ambitious who has a quick mind He's very selfish, this, this is very selfish energy, very impulsive energy, very temperamental, uh, very frank, very arrogant energy. And uh, it could be like you, you feel very defensive, very paranoid, and you feel like 
what you built, this empire that you built, is on the verge of collapse or is collapsing. And that's what's going on in your mind. One more card for what's uh, Virgo's current state of mind. All right, so I have the Empress. So this is a mother. This is a domestic goddess. This is creativity, abundance, this is pregnancy, marriage, uh, this is me time, this is um, a period of growth, a time of safety, stability, it's like an incubation period, just like you, you go through a pregnancy and you, for nine months you incubate the pregnancy, this is an incubation period of a plan, idea, um, it, it's a time of thriving. This is your energy. This is Virgo energy. This is Earth energy. It's very practical, grounded energy. It doesn't take risks. Um, it's very conservative. It hates change. It's very stubborn. It's very hardworking. Um, it's very uh, like bullheaded energy. Very um, patient. Very um, like critical, worrisome, fault-finding energy as well. So there's not a lot of conflict here in your present state of mind, but it's not really good either. <clears throat> there's a lot of worries here. I'm seeing a lot of worries. I do see that you're present though. I, I don't see that you're stuck in the past. You're very present. You, you know what's presently going on. So you are staying present in the moment. You're not looking at the past and you're not looking at the future. You're actually afraid to look at the future. I see some fear of looking at the future because you're afraid of the loss of an empire. You're, you're, you're really paranoid. You're very worrisome. You're very on edge. And you're making a plan. You're coming up with a plan of attack. You're incubating um, the creation, the formation of a new plan. All right, what's going to help Virgo along their way? What self-improvement, spiritual development, health? Uh, what's going to help them along their way? Three cards, please. What's going to help Virgo along the way? going to help Virgo along the way. All right, here's one. All right, so I have the Emperor. And the Emperor, to me, always mirrors back to the King of Wands. So we have the King of Wands in the reverse, and then we have the Emperor in the upright. Now, the Emperor is Aries energy, but we're still staying in this fire energy. And um, the Emperor is scientific evidence, hard facts, controlled emotions. He's a ruler. He's an entrepreneur. He shows no weakness. He sets clear, effective boundaries. He rises to a challenge. He is a major life event. Um, he is a decision maker. He is um, professional. He acts professional at all times. He doesn't sulk. He is all about victory and being your best. And he's right next to the Empress. So that's a very powerful duo. The Empress and the Emperor. So there's a major arcana and then there's a minor arcana. The major arcana are major life events. The minor arcana are minor events. The minor arcana is set up like a regular playing deck. The major arcana starts with zero, which is the full. That's the inception of the new soul. The new soul says, oh, I want to go on a journey. And then he has to go through 21 different steps along his journey. So the first step is the magician, and then the high priestess is number two. And that's the sexual intercourse that brings the idea of the fool onto the physical plane, but hasn't yet manifested. Because it's the sperm and the egg conjoining. It's that sexual intercourse with the magician and the high priestess. The empress and the emperor are grounded. They're earth and fire energy. They're practical and ambitious. They're um, 
they, they get things done together and they're the mother and the father that actually give birth to the full and bring the full onto the physical plane. So that's the mother and the father. And they're side by side right here in this spread. So we have the king of wands reversed. We have the nine of wands reversed. We have the empress upright. And then we have the emperor upright. What else is going to help Virgo along their way? Okay, so I have the hangman. So this is Pisces energy. This is another major arcana card. This is surrendering, sacrificing, putting your life on hold. No matter what you do, it just doesn't work out. Um, getting a different perspective, seeing things in a different light. You're feeling victimized or punished, but you need to accept responsibility. Um, using your intuition and developing yourself. Not struggling. So you're getting a new perspective. You're not struggling. What else is going to help Virgo? Right, and then I have the lovers, and they're in the reverse. So this is another major life. So there's communication breakdowns that you need to be aware of. Um, there's jealousy. There's separation. There's low self-esteem. There's a lack of self-love. There's disagreements. And it's just not the right time to move forward currently. And that's the card of Gemini. So there's a Pisces, Gemini, Aries here, Virgo, and Sagittarius twice. So we have, it starts with Sagittarius energy, and then it goes to your energy, Virgo. Then it goes to Aries, Pisces, Gemini. So this says, I aim, I analyze, I am me, I believe, I think. And there is the winds of change, so things are changing. There's action, motion, communication. What's going on in Virgo's family and home life? What's going on in the three cards for Virgo's family and home life, please? Three cards for Virgo's family and home life, please. Three cards for Virgo's family and home life, please. Three cards for Virgo's family. Three cards for. Okay, so here's one. We have the High Priestess. Um, so in your family and home life, there's a withdrawing, time alone, following your own path. You need to go deeper for answers. Not everything is obvious at first glance. There's a formation of plans, ideas. It's not a time for action or moving. There's retreat, reflecting. The high priestess stands between two pillars. Um, in the regular writer way, one has B, one has J, which stands for Boaz and Hakim. They stand for strength and unity in English. She holds the Torah in her hand, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. She stands on top of the moon, which means that she's in full control of her emotions and her subconscious. And she's the card of Pisces. So we have Pisces twice here, so you could be dealing with the Pisces. What else is going on in Virgo's family or home life? What else is going on in Virgo's family and home life? All right, so I have the Three of Cups, and it's in the reverse. So there's an affair. Three is a crowd. Uh, your creativity could be stifled. This is the card of Cancer. So again, we have this water energy. We have water energy with Pisces. We have water energy with Cancer. So there's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of uh, 
gut feelings and intuition and the subconscious mind. There's a lot of nostalgia. There's being very moody, very dramatic, very manipulative. There's manipulation here. There's uh, being fussy. So we have Pisces Cancer and they're being snappy at each other. Uh, they're very insecure. There's a lack of self-love here. There's low self-esteem. Um, there's needing to get a new perspective, needing to be an effective ruler. There's um, the ability to manifest and bring things onto the physical plane, but you need to get in control of your emotions first, get perspective and use your intuition. I do see someone who's very arrogant in your life and I do see you being very defensive and paranoid and that's causing a stifling in your creativity. And there could possibly be an affair going on. Or it's three, like three people that are constantly fighting. Um, kind of like friends, like two friends are talking behind each other's back. But there's things that you're not seeing. There's secrets here. There, there's secrets. There's illusions. There's fantasy. There's delusions. There's withdrawing. What else is going on in Virgo's family and home life? What else is going on in Virgo's family and home life? Right, so I have the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of sleepless nights. There's anxiety, depression. There's um, the dark night of the soul. There's um, nightmares. Your mind spiraling in never ending circles, feeling alone on the edge of your sanity. And this is the card of Gemini, so there's the winds of change. So we have Gemini twice. We have Pisces here twice. We have Sagittarius twice. And now we have Gemini twice. So who is Gemini? Gemini is I think. So Gemini thinks a lot. They use their mind. They're master communicators. They're very adaptable, alert, curious. Uh, they, they always like to stay busy. They're very chatty. Uh, they have their finger in many pies. They're, they could be two-faced. They could be nice to your face but talk gossip behind your back. Um, but generally, they're very social, friendly people. Um, they could be a little flighty, a little superficial at times. Um, they're like jacks of all trades. They like to question everything. Like, why is this? What is this? Um, why is this happening? Um, they're very fickle, uh, unsympathetic, highly independent, uh, witty, intelligent. So we have that energy coming. All right, so what's going on with the Virgo's romantic and social life? What's going on with the Virgo's romantic and social life, please? Three cards. Virgo's, okay, so the first one is the hair font. So this is Taurus. This is another major life event. This is tradition, legacy, religion, a counselor, giving your power away, blindly following something, surrendering your free will, externalizing your internal power, um, doing what everyone else expects of you, being stuck in the past, um, asking for guidance, But actually, I see it going towards the future. I don't see it stuck in the past. What else is going on in Virgo's romantic and social life? What else is going on in Virgo's romantic and social life? What else is going on in Virgo's romantic and social life? Two cards. Perfect. So the first one is the Page of Swords in the reverse. So um, there's malicious gossip, blaming, 
spiteful, vindictive behavior, being rude. Someone could be spying on you. Um, definitely there could be a spy here. Um, cold arguments, slander, backstabbing, being misunderstood, paranoid, um, nothing you say is right. There's psychological abuse here. So there's tradition legacy. Um, so this is Taurus energy. He's very patient. So a Taurus could be spying on you. A Taurus could be gossiping about, about you. A Taurus could be slandering your name. Wow. Oh, wow. The other card that I have is the other page of swords, and they both came in reverse. Ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> that's really creepy. Um, yeah, like, what are the odds of that happening? And both of them in the reverse, too. Yes, I got them both. Absolutely, you're being spied on. Absolutely, there's slander. Absolutely, there's backstabbing. Absolutely, there's gossip. And it's a Taurus doing it. Absolutely. Without a doubt. All right, uh, so what's going on with Virgo's money? What's going on with Virgo's money? Virgo's money. What's going on with Virgo's money? Three cards for Virgo's money. June 15th through the 31st. What's going on with Virgo's money? June 15th through the 31st. So, okay, so the tower reverse. Um, you're able, you were tipped off, you're able to avoid disaster here. Um, you're getting out of the way of disaster in terms of your finances. There's damage control. I have the five of cups in the upright. So there's sadness, loss, regret, focused on the past, very regretful in terms of your money. We have Aries energy, and then we have Scorpio energy, so this is very intense, powerful, magnetic. But um, you, you're you able to avoid disaster, but you're still very regretful and feeling sad about it in terms of your finances. And I see that you do lose some money, but not all of it, because see some of those cups? are tipped over, but not all of them are. So you, you still have some of your money, but you lose a lot. And you're not looking at what you still have. You're looking at what you lost. What else is going on in Virgo's money? What else is going on in Virgo's money? All right, so I have strength, but strength is looking at the past. Um, there's purity of motives here. There's um, control of your desire, passion, um, belief in yourself. There's perseverance, endurance. Um, weathering the storm. So you're weathering the storm here. There's two major life events there. Right. Um, work, career, and life purpose for Virgo. Work, career, and life purpose for Virgo. Two, three cards for work, career, and life purpose, please. Three cards for Virgo's work, career, and life purpose, please. Work, career, and life purpose. Three cards, please. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's five here. We'll use them. <clears throat> they came out for a reason. All right, the first one is the hanged man again. So we have the hanged man twice. This is Pisces energy with your work, career, and life purpose. Um, this is getting a new perspective. 
This is sacrifice, putting your life on hold, volunteering, withdrawing, developing yourself. Again, that's Pisces energy. I have the Eight of Cups, and it's in the reverse. So there's hopelessness, aimless drifting, walking away, abandonment. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um, so there's being temper tantrums. There's temper tantrums, uh, being melodramatic in terms of your career, hysterical, demanding, um, low self-esteem, lack of confidence, lack of energy, being worn out, being nasty, jealous, manipulative, spiteful, disloyal. I have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so there's strong, solid commitment, dedication, ongoing hard work, being highly skilled, highly qualified, um, acclaimed, exactly where you need to be. This is your energy. This is a Virgo energy. So we have Aries. We have um, the Eight of Cups. Sagittarius and Pisces. Pisces, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, Aries, and Virgo so far. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So we have Capricorn energy, and this is uh, being money mad, out of date, self centered. Uh, a poor housekeeper, envious, jealous, spiteful, mean, possessive, obsessive, a fortune hunter, um, a social climber, neglectful. Uh, you could be abusing the environment here, um, being overweight, like a wicked witch. So we end... We end in Earth energy. We have Capricorn and we have uh, Virgo here. We begin in Pisces, so we begin very emotional in terms of your career and work. And there's a di there, there's a different perspective that you need to get. Um, <clears throat> I see you looking at the past, and you need to look be more present. And then it's also very emotional, and I'm still in this Pisces energy. This. I believe this being a dreamer, being in a fantasy land, withdrawing, being introverted, shy, like um, overly sensitive. I want to say like immoral, especially with it being in the reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's conflict here. There's massive conflict. So you're very emotional. You're, in terms of your work and career, you're very emotionally tied to what you're doing. And then we have the Queen of Wands here. And she's in the reverse. And this is Aries energy. So there's a lot of fighting here. There's a lot of jealousy. Um, being a very ineffective leader. And then we get back into your energy. We get back into this practical, grounded, I hate change, I love routine energy. Uh, working really hard, being diligent, staying staying late at work, work overworking. And then that, that turns into the queen of pentacles in the reverse. So being money mad, overly focused on money, being greedy, very materialistic, um, being very mean. A social climber, um, very serious, cold. Okay, so what's the outcome for Virgo? What's the outcome for Virgo? Three cards for the outcome for Virgo, please. All right, so I have the three of pentacles in the reverse. So there is a lack of teamwork here, a disregard for skills. Again, we have Capricorn energy, very mean, very serious. And then we have the Queen of Wands in the upright energy. 
Um, so there's being independent, spontaneous, healthy, taking charge of situations, be uh, determined you can do this. You need to exercise and get active. You know your strength and you need to use it. Be open and sincere. One more card for the outcome, please. One more card for the outcome, please. All right, there's the Seven of Swords. So there's sneaky, deceitful behavior. Um, there's betrayal, lies. Be careful who you trust. And there's definitely mind games here. This is the card of Aquarius. So this is uh, a revolutionary, um, erratic, unpredictable energy. Could be theft. Hey, any other advice for Virgo? Yeah, there is. So we have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So you need to get in touch with the source. You need to open up your crown chakra and be more spiritual. Get in touch with your spirituality and intuition and your connection with the source. Right. And then uh, there's financial constraints here. And there's a lack of community. That's what's causing your financial problems. I have the sun here, so things are getting better. Things will get better. But um, there's a lack of community here. All right, Virgo. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you consider subscribing. I do do bi-monthly tarot readings. And I'm going to be doing meditation and affirmation videos as well. Um, so I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel. Um, also, in the description box, again, I have the link to my website if you'd like a personal reading to get a little bit more in depth. And uh, please leave a comment if this resonated with you. I love hearing your comments. Have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for joining me.